Welcome to Doc Talk Dental, where dental industry marketing specialist Lisa Muller sits down with doctors, innovators, and thought leaders to share their stories, strategies, and insights. And now, here's Lisa. Hi, everyone. It's Lisa Muller with MedRec Media and Implant Practice, U.S. Magazine. Welcome to another edition of Doc Talk Dental. Today, we're going to dive into how three shaped trios can benefit your practice from increasing case acceptance to simplifying workflow. To talk more on this, we're very excited to welcome Dr. Franklin Scholl. He has a very long list of accomplishments, so let's get into them. Dr. Scholl is a native of Lexington, South Carolina, and is a graduate of the University of South Carolina and the Medical University of South Carolina School of Dentistry. Following dental school, he completed a general practice residency at Palmetto Health Richland. Dr. Scholl is both the past president of the Greater Columbia Dental Association and the South Carolina Academy of General Dentistry. He is a fellow of the Academy of General Dentistry and is a faculty member at Palmetto Health Richland, Department of Dentistry, and the Medical College of Georgia School of Dentistry. Dr. Scholl is also on the teaching facility at the L.D. Pankey Institute in Key Biscayne, Florida, where he teaches dentists from all around the world about aesthetic dentistry. He has been published in many dental journals and recently contributed to a textbook on comprehensive dentistry. And Dr. Scholl lectures throughout the U.S. on aesthetics, dental materials, and photography. He lives in Lexington with his wife, son, and daughter, and enjoys spending time on the water with his family. Phew! Dr. Scholl, welcome to Doc Talk Dental. I think that was the longest bio I've ever had. <laughs> Kudos to you. <laughs> so nice to have great. you with us today. Thank you. Thank you. It's good to be here. How's everything in your neck of the woods with all this COVID stuff? It, it's about like um, what you'd expect. We're all kind of uh, getting through it. Um, it's had some impacts on the practice, which I think everyone could understand, um, but not all bad. I think we've made the best of it. So yeah, here we are trying to get through it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're here today to talk about um, the three shape trios. Yeah. and how it's so instrumental in your practice. Can you tell us how long you've been using um, the TRIOS and how has it impacted your practice? Sure. So, and when you and I were talking about this, it surprised me to think back, I've been using the TRIOS now for over seven years. So 2013 was when I first purchased my first TRIOS. Wow, it's been a while. It has been, yeah. yeah. So what is it, I mean, how has it impacted your, your patients' lives and tell us the autonomy that, that's been created with it? Sure, so, you, you know, like any new piece of equipment, um, you're a little bit hesitant at first. So I'll say, I'll be very honest, I didn't use it to its fullest when I first purchased it. Um, I was worried about um, it not doing as good a job as I wanted it to. Um, so I was a little, um, a little hesitant at first. So I would say the first six months, I was I'm convincing myself that it was as good as what I was doing before. But then it quickly became a part of my everyday routine. Um, there's not a day that I don't use the trios. Um, it's, it's become a bigger and bigger part of everything I do um, every day. It's so cool also for the patient perspective. I've had it used on me many times at my dentist and just to see, you know, the scanning and what's going on and, and all of that while you're, um, while you're there being treated, it's, um, it's just a more interactive experience, I think, with the patient, right? Well, I mean, I, I don't know if any, even when I use it, I'm still kind of wild and I've been, I use it all the time. Um, and, you know, just from the color and the speed and now we know the accuracy, but I mean, it, it impresses me every time I use it. So as a patient, um, they love the comfort of it, of course, without the gooey impression material, but it's just the, um, it's the technology that, that really is impressive. It really is. It's amazing. What, what was the learning curve like for, um, for your team to use this? Um, learning curve is is very quick and simple. Um, we, you know, any, any of the staff can use it. We can teach anyone within minutes how to use the trios, especially now with the wireless option. Um, the heads are very small on the scanner. 
Um, the scan path is very easy. And even if you don't follow the scan path, um, the computer still um, is smarter than we are and it makes it work. So I'll say that it's probably the easiest thing that any of our um, assistants or other dentists can pick up on. So you're basically an aesthetic practice, yes? I'm a general practice. We do a lot of um, comprehensive cases, a lot of large cases, and we do a lot of aesthetics. We do facial aesthetics um, along with dental aesthetics. So um, that's sort of what we've been doing for the past about 15 years, yeah. So speak to the various um, specialties that the, the trios um, is used within. I mean, as far as aesthetic and now I know they're using it for sleep and I mean, there's other, other aspects uh, as well, right? Yeah, well, it's, it, that's, the, that's the cool part is because there's so many, I, I work really closely with my periodontist and he loves it because, um, you know, we can scan for um, surgical guides we can scan for soft tissue guides and we can um, do planning for our implants, which we now, once you do it that way, it's really hard to go back. And we have a CBCT in the office that you can overlay your three shape scans to. And so now implant planning is at a whole other level. And of course there are the, um, the module for orthodontics that uh, many of my orthodontic colleagues use, and it's a really nice workflow for ortho. Um, there's a splint module for dentists that do a lot of splint therapy. Uh, uh -huh. You know, th there's really, you know, smile designer, so you can, you know, design. If you're not used to doing a lot of aesthetic dentistry, this is almost a walkthrough program that can allow you to very quickly create. Um, a rendering of what you can do for your patient. It's, it's really a neat, a neat uh, module. So there's so many different things and that's you know, part of the beauty of the three shape is that yeah. it's not just a scanner. You can buy a scanner, they're just a standalone plug-in scanner. And I think a lot of people are, um, you know, they want something inexpensive and plug and play and it will do that, but you're really missing out on all the other things that um, the three shape can do. Mm -hmm. So compared to other scanners out there without naming names, what, what's different about this one? I mean, I know the technology is amazing. Right, so I mean, yeah, and I've used um, most of the other scanners on the market and wow, we, we've come such a long ways. I mean, we, um, there are some really nice scanners out there. And like I said, if you're looking at very low cost, there are some scanners that are low cost, um, but you're gonna basically only scan for maybe Crown and Bridge. With Three Shape, because of the, um, the apps that are available and you don't have to purchase them if you're not gonna use them, but you can add on the apps that just take it to a different level. Um, and simple things that other systems don't allow, like overlaying scans. You can overlay, say I'll scan your mouth today, and then a year later I rescan. Um, and I can overlay those scans to see if there's been any change. And I can mm -hmm. see if you've had wear on your teeth, I can see if, you, if your teeth have moved, I can see if you have notching, all the things that um, I could probably tell you you have, but the computer now can say, hey, Lisa, your teeth are changing and right. the patient now can see it. So just so many little things that um, come with this system that just change how you practice. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically the adage, you get what you pay for, right? I mean. It is, and, and no, it's not the most expensive system on the market. Um, and they do have their entry level scanners. And then if you want to, you know, upgrade as you go. Um, and that's what I tell everyone is, listen, if you're looking for low um, cost, you know, there are low cost options with three shape and then you still have the um, ability to add on as you go. Right. So you have two uh, configurations, the Trio 3 Pod and the Trio 3 Move. What made you choose having two configurations and how to use each of them in your practice? Yeah, so the, the Pod, is what a lot of people like because it's laptop driven. So 
So you basically have the scanner um, that is attached to uh, a gaming style laptop and you can move that around. I put mine on a cart. I had a little cart built. I had the need for uh, to get my um, three shape into some narrow spaces. And the move is basically a tablet that's connected to your scanner on a, a pole system, almost like an IV pole with wheels. Um, so I can get it in the, any little nook and cranny and it just becomes very versatile. So any of the systems are fine. Um, I like both of the ones I have. Um, if I had to buy again, I'm not sure which one I'd buy because they both have their- Because <laughs> they're both yeah. so good. Yeah, they both are how, really good. Yeah. How many operatories do you have? Um, so th I have one other doctor that practices with me. And so we have seven total operatories. Okay. So you've got two scanners that you're kind of moving around from room to room or? Right. So each doctor, you know, and we don't have our own scanner. We'll pick either one because they're basically the same. And you can set it right. up that you can see all of your scans on both scanners. You can create a client server where um, you, it's not like you can only see certain scans on one of the um, computers. So they make it quite easy. How is their, uh, their customer service if one of the scanners goes down? Do they, they're probably like right on it? it they, they really are good. And, you know, their um, partnerships with some of the um, vendors like Patterson and Henry Schein has really taken that to another level because um, those companies have digital specialists that are experts. Um, you can also call Three Shape Direct, but most people will go through their Patterson or Henry Schein rep and have great customer service that way too. So a lot more options. When I first started with Three Shape, you had to go through Three Shape um, and that was fine too. But now that we have so many more um, vendors, it makes it mm -hmm. um, pretty seamless. Right. So um, tell us about the, um, the three shape has a very trusted connection with mills and printers. What is it? What does that mean for your workflow? Yeah, so trusted connection is a word that um, you hear in the industry now. And, and what that basically means is that um, there's been R and D on um, the connection between your scanner and a mill and you can connect, connect many scanners to many mills. That doesn't mean that um, anyone's really tested that out and made sure the tolerances are appropriate. Um, Three Shape does a really good job with that. And they have selected the top mills on the market to be part of their, um, part of their team. So it does make it easy. I've had multiple mills in the office and mm -hmm. connecting the mills um, is very straightforward. Is there one that works better than the other with this system or? Well, recently, um, Avaclar Vivident and Three Shape um, partnered on um, a scanning milling connection that um, pairs the Avaclar's uh, PM1, the program mill one mm -hmm. with um, Three Shape scanners. Um, so I have the, the program mill one and it's, it's a phenomenal mill. It's, um, it's very small, it's wireless. It is tablet driven. Um, it's a five axis mill. Um, it contains its own water supply and it's on compressors. So the only thing you really need to do is plug it into the wall. Um, very accurate, probably one of the most accurate mills ever built. And it's, it's pretty phenomenal. So this connection, to me with the three shape is, is sort of the, the ideal um, pairing. Both companies are phenomenal. They both are about excellence and uh, doing the best they can. And I feel mm -hmm. like they've created this, it's not only a nice workflow, but it, it sort of exudes excellence. You can tell by the way it's built and the product that it produces that it's built around very high end dentistry. Right. So how do you suppose dentistry was um, even around before all of this technology? 
Well, I'm kind of old. Back in the old days. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of old. So uh, I've been doing this for about 25 years. So, yeah. um, you know, slinging impression material and, um, you know, we, we did everything. But, and I guess that's something to, you know, let the younger people know. This, this is um, a culmination of, of taking old school and just making it digital. So we could do it all before but it took so much more effort and you really didn't have ways of backing out of things with a digital workflow. My laboratory and I, we can all, we can fix almost every problem uh, virtually instead of having to bring a patient back and take temporaries off and make new impressions. So um, it's just made life easier. Right. It's amazing for the yeah. patient as well. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, funny, I'm old it? also, and re <laughs> <laughs> I remember what that was like back in the day. Um, but yeah, it's just it's just incredible with this. And I think technology, you know, we're in the next ten years. What we're going to see in dentistry is going to blow our minds with you know what's going to be coming out as well. Okay. I'm ready for it. I know, right? So, um, what about three shades? Three Shapes open ecosystem. How does that give you more options and technologies, materials, and services? Yeah, so the term open um, has, you know, been used ever since, you know, digital uh, platforms opened. And um, open basically means that, you know, any lab can use Three Shape. Um, they have to, of course, um, be able to accept the files, which most can, but, um, their open architecture does allow me to send to basically anyone I want and anyone can open the file and work with the files. So um, just, you know, allowing more people to be involved. And if you ask, I would say almost any lab technician, their preferred platform to design their restoration zone is three shape. Um, if not, if it's not their top, it's their, you know, one of their top two, because right. the three shape is as deep into technology on the lab side as it is on the clinical side. And honestly, that's what drew me to three shape was their, their heavy, um, you know, just how serious they were on the lab end. And so right. their number one um, goal is to make it easy and open it up you know, allow everyone to basically play on the same field. And um, they've done a really good job with it. Well, when it comes to sending scans to, scans to the lab, um, how well does Trails work with Matt Roberts um, and his lab? So Matt, Matt and I have been working together for um, 20 years. Um, and we, we talk about, you know, if not every day, almost every day, um, we, we do a lot of dentistry together and he's in Idaho and I'm in South Carolina. So it's not like we can walk next door and share cases. Right. So, um, so three shape has their communicate app that everything is uploaded through. So when I finish a case, um, I'll mark my margins and review it and I'll hit send. And within a couple of minutes, Matt has that scan in front of him. And so we can collaborate really easily. Um, we can scan and I can have the patient in the chair and he can evaluate um, preps. We can evaluate things together. We can never do that before. That's incredible. We'll often, um, well, sort of like we're doing here with Zoom or one of the other platforms, we can screen share also. And he can even move my scanner uh, software around and. I can do the same on his end when he's planning and designing cases. So it's just incredible how um, it's like we're basically in the same building. But so, yeah, so the yeah, and the communicate app also allows me. So there's a mobile communicate app that you can have your phone, and I can check the progress of any case, and I can even see the case on my phone three dimensionally. Uh, I can wow. see where he is on the design process. I can see if the case is gonna be on time or not. So it, yeah, it gets a little, you can, you can see more than you wanna see sometimes. You can, 
Can't wait so if you're on vacation or at the lake, you can check it on your cell yeah. phone and right. Instead and of make Instagram. sure your patients are getting taken care of. That's right. Instead of Instagram, we don't communicate. So. <laughs> oh, nice. Nice. What, how long have you been working with Matt? Well, been, for about 20 years? years. About 20. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Wow. That's, that says a lot about what he does, for sure. Well, too, you know, when I first was looking into a digital system, the first person I asked was Matt because he had been into the lab digital end a long time, and he had seen scans from almost every scanner. And mm -hmm. he immediately, when I said, what scanner should I look at, um, he immediately said three shape. And so I knew then that... Um, you know, we were working on the right platform because he could see all the other scans. And if that's what worked best for him, that was what I was going to try first. Right. That's great. So um, what, what's your patient feedback with the, with the uh, scanner and the trios? What it, um, do they think it's pretty cool when they can see all this, all this 3D imaging? Yeah. I mean, everyone loves it. I mean, and it, the, the hard part is, you know, I'm pretty passionate about it, as you probably can tell. So it's hard yeah. not to get behind talking about the technology. Um, but yeah, everyone, it, one, they love not having the physical impressions. Um, but then you can show them and even make it educational for them, showing them other things that they see on the scans. Um, mm -hmm. Take, you know, you can take photographs with the scanner also. So you can take a photograph of a tooth and it pops up on the screen. Um, and like we were saying before, you can do a smile design with their face on the screen and they can help do it. They can actually yeah. I'll give them the mouth sometime and they can put the teeth in their smile. Of course, they're usually not the right teeth, but it allows them to see um, sort of what goes into uh, designing a smile. And they can quickly see that it's, it's very technical. And it's not yeah. just it's not just picking teeth out of a drawer. It right. is trying to you know find teeth that match their face. So it's very educational. I, I haven't had one person ever, you know, say, "Hey, can you use the old gooey stuff instead?" Um, Ugh, so I hate that. Oh my gosh, yeah, I, I gagged on that every single time. Horrible. And, and everyone, I think, non-scanners will say, "Well, the scanner, you can't get that in some people's mouth." Um, I have yet to find a patient that I can't scan. And I see a lot of patients. So um, I'm sure there may be one or two out there, but those would probably be the same ones you can't get an impression tray in. Right. So it's um, scanning. It's really scanning. not an uncomfortable situation for the patient at all. I mean, well, it's, it's much not. quicker too. It's so much quicker. Um, you can scan a full arch. I mean, if you're good in less than a minute, I mean, that's, that's pretty quick. It's just like a camera because the technology is stitching multiple images together and it's true color also. So anything you can scan, you can document. And, you know, I would scan every patient that walked in the office because that now is probably the best dental record you could ever have. So certainly you can document soft tissue and hard tissue. Right and go back in, in a year or two years and see how things have changed and all right. that, right? That's right. Um, so what advice would you give to other practitioners that were looking to implement this, this digital solution in their practice? So we talk about this a lot. Um, and I have practitioners that I talk to uh, you know, every, every week and I, you know, they may be interested in milling or 3D printing um, to me, you have to start with scanning. Scanning is the base for everything um, and get comfortable with it because that's here to stay. Um, our mills are, you know, may change. Our 3D printing is certainly going to get better, but you're going to scan every day. So um, look into a scanner that fits your needs. If you're interested in all of the add-ons and all of the things that a scanner can become, uh, look at 3Shape for sure. Um, and like I said, um, don't let the dollar scare you. I, everyone was asking, is it gonna be a return on the investment? Um, and of course it is. Um, initially, 
I had to count how many impressions I was taking to say whether I would pay for my unit or not. Mm -hmm. But without a doubt, just all that you can do, um, you, you're going to get your money's worth out of it um, within the first year, without a doubt. It, it took about a year for you, maybe a little bit less? Uh, or? I'd, I'd say less. I'd say even if you weren't using it every day, um, and that would be just if you're replacing impression material, but it's just everything else you can do. It's the case acceptance. It's, right. um, you know, just all of the other things that you can do with the scanner that you never thought you would, you, that's not why you bought it maybe, but um, you'll find that it easily pays for itself. Right. And that's important, the ROI when you're looking at all the equipment, right? Yeah, it is. Sure gotta it have is. that. Yeah. Gotta have that ROI. So, so what do you do for fun in South Carolina? I read that you like to get on the water with your family, and are you guys big water skiers? Or yeah, we boat a lot, and my kids love to. So, wake surfing is really big here. Mm -hmm. um, so, having a boat that throws a big enough wake that you basically have a surfboard behind it. So, uh -huh. um, do a lot of that. Um, and yeah, it's our climate's nice, kind of like you guys. We have a lot of heat, so anything outdoors, we love to do. Well, we don't have very many good lakes here. Mm. <laughs> our water, our water yeah, is not water. is not great, and and when we do have lakes, the 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 level of the water is down a lot. It's oh, really? not significant. So yeah, not like you guys have. You're, yeah, you live yeah, in a beautiful area. Lakes, yeah. Really, really Thank beautiful. You. Yeah, I love it here. So thank you so much for joining us and talking to us about the three shape trios today, Dr. Schultz. I certainly appreciate it. And I know our audience is going to get so much out of this. Um, yeah. If they have specific questions about the trio setup, um, can they contact you at positivelypda.com? They can, sure. That's, um, feel free to email me at that address and uh, any question, um, and it doesn't have to be specifically about 3 shape, but like I said, I've used most scanners, uh, 3D printing, milling, um, any of those I'll certainly be glad to try to help with. And then they can also um, reach 3Shape at 3Shape, number 3Shape.com, right? Now we don't want right. everybody bombarding you with questions, but, <laughs> mm -hmm. but I'm okay. sure you'd be, you'd be nice enough to accommodate them. We appreciate that. I will, and I can easily point them in the right direction for things that I can't answer. But also remember that they're, like I said, the lo their local, um, either Patterson or Henry Schein reps can help them. Um, so it used to be where three shape was sort of unknown, but now um, as a leader in the industry, the name, um, I think everyone knows who they are. I think now, everyone so. knows them. When we were doing yeah. this interview, I, I always do the research on, you know, who I'm talking to and, and the product. I'm like, oh, I know, please, this is easy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they, <laughs> We've, they're, known they're a, We've known this yeah, product for years. Company. They started out as a smaller company, but wow, they've really changed um, what we do. So yeah, it's it's exciting to be, um, you know, in this time. We're we're fortunate to be able to be talking about cool things like this. I know, I know. Well, I thank you so much for joining us today, and stay safe where you're at, and um, let's let's rock 2021, right? Sounds good. Got to be better than 2020. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to say it, it will be. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Take care. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Thanks. So that's going to do it for another edition of Doc Talk Dental. I'd like to thank Dr. Franklin Scholl for joining us today. And I'd also like to thank our special sponsor, 3Shape. For more information on the Trios products, please visit 3Shape.com. That's the number 3Shape.com. As always, for everything implant, please go to implantpracticeus.com and subscribe for the latest information. To learn about our other publications, visit medmarkmedia.com. We will see you back here on the next edition of Doc Talk Dental. Until then, take care, everyone. Thanks for listening to Doc Talk Dental. You can always stay up to date with our latest podcast by subscribing on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and Google Podcasts. Learn more about us at Medmark Media or connect directly with any of our publications at Orthodontic Practice US, at Endodontic Practice US, at Implant Practice US, and at Dental Sleep Practice. Until next time.